Ladies and gentlemen from around the world, welcome to another Striker Break. We're here on a Friday night, ready to crush. We got the brand new fat packs ready to go. Make sure everything is perfect. There we go. Checking settings. Set to crush. What's happening? Step in the box, I see you there. Chris, Adam, AK, Nate, Radicu, Tito, Brett, Fitzy, Nick, Red Sox King, let's turn two. Oh, everybody's here. Nice and early. I love to see it. Well, we're here to find out one thing and one thing only. Are these worth it? Should you even buy these stinking things? I think the answer is yes, but I don't know. I got a whole box. There's 108 packs in here. So strap in. Grab your favorite beverage. Let me get my volume just right. Got some MLB on the side screen waiting for that San Diego at Colorado game. Juicy. We're going to go. Is that what is this? Is that an autograph in the very first pack? No, can't be. Why is that flipped around? Oh, is that how we're doing it? We're, we're flipping around the flipping around the middle of the pack. Just just cause I get it. Okay. Pack number one. Bus. I got these from Steel City. Five by five. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate you, brother. And there, I got multi multi streaming. Sorry, I was a little bit late. Some technical difficulties. It didn't want to. I scheduled the stream, so it messed with everything. Blue. I'm waiting for those retail exclusives, but it wouldn't let me go uh, attach to Facebook. So I had to go back through the settings. Whatever. Dansby is the first. Look at this. It's one of those. Ooh, a triple pack. It is favorite son, which these are one per box. I kind of want to pull up the pack odds while we're sitting here. Look at these. Look at this pack. Oh, triple banger. I mean, I guess if you want to call that a banger, but it is bow with the flow. Brian Anderson, rainbow foil. We're going to start setting uh, the over under. First off, how many autographs in this whole thing? I'm going to pull up the odds while you're putting your guess in there. Over under. What should we set the over under at? Three, two, 2.5? You said it 2.5? Is that a good number? Hold on, I'm pulling, what am I doing? I'm pulling up the odds, pack odds. 2023 series two, just so we can, and what were these called? I figured out the code. Hanger pack, no. Bulk, bulk pack odds. It's so weird. I wish it would just say fat packs because you can then you can scroll down and you get to all these other FPNT. Is that what they are? Bear with me one second, ladies and gentlemen. I have to match this up. I'm going to go back in to the value sheet. Back into the value sheet and figure out what these are called. 2023 Series 2 primary. There we go. Okay, the fat pack. So it's one in six for a gold. One in six for a gold. Hmm. Back up top. Did I just get that wrong? Or is it one in five? I'm... Oh, that's Royal Blue. Okay, I think I got it. Royal Blue, one and six. Gold's one and 13. One and 14. That's blue. Hold on. One and th there we go. I found it. I found it. I found our odds. Okay. So now we can play around. I don't know. As far as autographs go, it doesn't really tell you, like, odds of an autograph. Just like a base auto. It doesn't tell you. There's all kinds of different odds, but... I'm going to go back up 
We're looking at, so the base gold's one in 13, blue foil one in 14, purple foil one in 17, rainbow foil one in four, royal blue one in six. Now you know. Favorite sun, do I even wanna pile with the favorite suns? PSA reveal, yeah, yeah. I already had quite a bit of interest in several cards, some sold already. Like as soon as I listed them. So I'll drop you a link to the eBay store in case you want in. I've only had time to list like, I don't know, a couple dozen cards. But people have been emailing me and messaging me already. There's a link to the eBay store. I'm going to pin it to the top. Why not? There. All right, we're back. What team do you support? Well, the Padres are one of my favorite teams, but Tigers are my hometown team. It'd be nice if they had a good team that I could support. But I buy all kinds of gear from all different teams. I don't, I just, I like so many teams, you know? Harrison Bader, is that a, doesn't that look like a SP? Or was that flipped around too? Mookie, significant stats, home run challenge. Julio. Keep those separate. Slammers are going to get a bunch of cards. Most of these cards I'm going to give away. Why is Bo so undervalued? I think it's just a lot of people are undervalued. It's just kind of like a, a valley right now. We're kind of in a valley. Happens. There's ebbs and flows of the hobby all the time. I think we got our first. What is it? No, maybe not. Chrome Moreno. That's what it is. It's the first stars of MLB Chrome rookie Moreno. We're not even going to go through the base. Carol just hit a granny. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yeah, that makes sense. Did you pre-order this? Yeah, I pre-ordered it. Whole case. Unopened case. Another Chrome Manoa. Not even worth the paper it's printed on right now. He's got to get it. He's got to get it going. Figure it out. I was watching MLB something, MLB TV or something, and they were talking about Manoa, thinking, you know, they're trying to figure out what's wrong with him like everybody else, and they're just kind of thinking it's mental. But dude's looking, he's looking thick. Manoa, they, they did a side-by-side -side of Manoa from last year to this year. And he looks way bigger this year. Like, he looks like he's put on a fitty. Bo? Jai Cards with a 549. Kanata. Message retracted. Well, hat tip to you. Appreciate you. Thank you for the donation. Donations go towards helping me fund this. I'm gonna give away 99.9% .9 of the cards out of here. I'll keep a couple of the good ones. If I if I get anything good, you know, like really good parallels or something like that, I'll probably add them to the collection. Legends of the game. We'll put them in that pile. See how many of those we get. Rainbow foil, kind of dry so far. Should be better than Series 1, though. I think I did a case of Series 1. Or no, I didn't do a case of Series 1 of these. Chrome. Perdomo. Green. There's our first numbered card. Numbered to 499. Oh, yeah. Heavy Lumber. Tatis. This is the first Heavy Lumber card I've pulled for myself. I, I maybe have pulled one other one in a break for people. But that is bad. I'm going to, yeah, yeah, put that up on the stage. Heavy Lumber Tatis. You guys ever see these? These are super hard to pull. Heavy Lumber is one in, where is the Heavy Lumber? There's so many things on this checklist. It's outrageous. Even on here.
There it is. Found it. One in 833 fat packs. One in eight cases of fat packs. Whoa. That's huge. Let's go. Vibes rolling high. Murphy or Will Smith starting the All-Star game? Man, they're both... Uh, probably Will Smith. He's so good. But Murphy's having a great year, too. Turn this down. If that music gets outrageous, because we're listening to rock, so it's going to be a little bit... It's full fire vibes Friday. Full fire Friday. Sounds pretty good. I hate doing two videos in a day, but if you guys didn't check out my PSA submission, go check it out. I just made the video today. A lot of sweet cards. Bubba. Blue Bubba. It's rookie color. It's almost sleeving on. I guess the Varland was rookie color, too. And the Dansby color match looks good. Thanks for being here. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, please. Helps out a lot. YouTube doesn't push out these live streams. So it's basically like the video, share it with your friends. Anybody who you think might find any value seeing what comes out of a fat pack case. Crawford, we got another favorite son. Royce Lewis rainbow foil. So, so far. Gonna be pretty good especially with that heavy lumber we'll take that Jeff says hey striker just pulled a cam collier out of a mega box auto Ooh, one of your original I remember you Jeff yes sir I remember the OG dudes and dudettes mostly dudes 99.9% .9 dudes probably especially in the beginning it gave me a 0.0% .0 female demographic for quite a while. Here it is, the first one. Ooh, those look cool. Those look sweet. It's like a purple foil board, and they call it purple. Fo they just call it purple foil, but it's more than a purple foil. It's got like almost like glitter, and that is numbered to $7.99. That's why I kind of predicted that retail is going to be juicy and juicier than we might think. Putting them on the stage. Why not? Sweet Charles LeBlanc rookie color. Yes. Nothing in this one, <clears throat> although a little shiny. Nothing. Lots of stars of MLB. Do they start giving us less stars of MLB? I think there should only be one. One per pack or box or whatever you get. Whatever retail format you get. Israel Pineda. So this is why, guys. This is why retail is juicy. The additional blue. The additional purple. And the additional blue foil <clears throat> that you can only get out of retail. It's going to make, at least it should, it's it's already feeling, it's feeling like a lot. It's feeling like you're getting a lot of parallels. But then again, what do we got so far? Three, seven, eight, nine. Nine plus a heavy lumber. Pretty good. What kind of sleeves do you use? Cardshells.com, brother. These are the best sleeves in the business. Card shells are pre-cut corners, so your cards just slide right in. Let me show you. You got yourself a rainbow foil or a green foil. Pre-slit, pre-slit, slides right in. You don't have to worry about your edges catching corners and your, uh, your corners catching edges. Whatever. You get it. Rainbow foil, Justin Turner. First aces parallel. 
Do you think we're going to possibly get a golden mirror? Hmm. Yeah, that purple's sweet, isn't it, Josh? I like the purple. I can't wait to see the blue now. Christian Walker blue. Victor Robles gold. The first gold. One in 13 packs. I think we get the legends of the game inserts out of here. And those. Let's be real. What we're really looking for are these boys right here. And autos and relics, I guess. Just want to see. But really, I mean... You know, we don't really open flagship for autos. At least I don't. You get an auto, it's just win, double win. Striker, what do you think about the Oakland A's moving to Las Vegas? Yeah, seems great to me. California has plenty of teams. Give Vegas another team. Seems like the fans in Vegas, even, even if they're not locals all the time, support the teams. Seems that way. Another thing to do in Vegas, keep the stadium packed, giving away tickets even if you have to, is like comps and perks. Two in a row, nada nada. Whoopsh. Didn't mean to do it like that. It just seems like every time I watch an Oakland A's game, there's nobody there. So the fans haven't really supported the team enough, I guess. And the ownership doesn't want to spend money because not enough's coming in. So Shohei Chrome. I'm okay with it. I typically don't like teams leaving, but. In that case, in that situation, you already got plenty of baseball teams in Cali. They don't want to get robbed, yeah. Was for, was furious. Uh, I can't. I couldn't even tell you, man. I can't keep up with. Uh, I can't keep up with uh, values for across the whole range of baseball cards. I can't even keep up with the values of like cards that I own that I care about. No, they're blue. Just got to go to eBay. Look up comps, man. Because that's all I'd do. So you might as well do it yourself. Just go to eBay, type in the card, go to sold listing, see what they sold for, and then go see what the lowest price is for one available. And if they're just raw, it's tough to use a raw as a comp because could card could have a bunch of issues, you know? Could have scratches, dinged up corners, something you don't know. So like the last one sold might have had something wrong with it and you can't just automatically use that as a raw comp but since it's such a, a new release you know there's probably not a lot of graded versions of that that you can use so you just got to kind of guess send it off to the upgrade shop then you'll know exactly what you got you got a nine you got an eight you got a ten and then you can get an exact price of what it's worth So far, we've got another purple. Look at those perps, man. They are sweet. Put them up there. Two purples. The blues are uh, one in 14. The purples are one in 17, so we actually should be getting more blues. Just haven't yet. That's why you... You gotta open up at least at least a case to kind of get an idea of how a case goes. Get a big enough sample size. Bypass some collation issues that you may run into if you just were to buy it off the retail shelf. Correa home run challenge. I'm gonna set my home run challenge cards with my other ones so I don't get them lost in the shuffle. I'm probably not going to feel like going back through these cards after we're done. <laughs> if it didn't make the stage, it's going to get, 
going to get got. It's going to get given. One of those packs. A blue and a rainbow foil. Love that. Willie Mays, Legends of the Game. Opinions on Ellie, love him. I've been talking about him the last several days. He's on my fantasy team. He was sitting on my bench while I was waiting for the call up, just chewing up bench space, and it paid off. Garrett Mitchell, we got a gold Will Benson. So gold number two. And Austin Riley, pick your shot. Seems like there's plenty of home run challenge cards coming out of here, which is pretty sweet. It's about time to start using them. I usually start using them in June, July. I'm going to wait till the air quality gets a little bit better, just so there's no you know, game cancellations or any of that kind of garbage going on. Tanaka. Another gold. Oh, there's a big gold. It's centered. Oh, yeah. Corbin Carroll gold. Do you know how much 22 update I opened just searching for my gold Julio and I never got him. I never got a gold Julio. I opened up like five, six cases worth of stuff. Jackpot. Let's go. Sweet. Two wicked cards already. I think this is already this is already better than the re the hobby that I opened, but you know, no silver packs come out of here. So you're you're down one less chance of getting an auto or a super collectible card. Greenskeeper with a dollar ninety nine. Strike it, you sly dog. How the heck are you tonight? I'm doing great. How are you, my friend? You must be doing good too. Busy, busy, busy in the striker house. Anytime I get a PSA order back, it's a lot of work. Taking pics, figuring out prices, uploading, sleeving, figuring out if I'm gonna PC any of it. Looking at trends, and then this. <laughs> And then back in shipping. We got a busy day tomorrow. Going out on the lake all day. Fishing. Alejandro, why are you? Ah, uh, that's why. Rainbow foil. Thank you for the donation, Greenskeeper. That's about it. What's the hard sleeve? These are called top loaders. And these are standard top loaders, 35 point top loaders. If you have thick cards, you want a thicker one. 55 point does the trick. How much on average does it cost to send? Usually you have to have 20 to get the deal, whatever deal it is. Right now, I think it's $15 for the deal. The last deal was $16. Normally, I believe it's like a $19 price. It'll probably be a standard 19, but man, we predicted that they were going to drop drop the price of the game, just the submission game in general, I thought at least. It'd get back down around 16 bucks, which is where they're at, or where they were at. Now they're at 15. Maybe it'll settle around 15, 12 as the hobby kind of dies down. All of collecting is down like a little bit right now. All these, you know, all the markets and everything are kind of tied together. I'm not saying everything goes lockstep up and down, but financial markets, collectibles markets, disposal anything you spend disposable income on is kind of tied together in one way or another. Stocks and bonds go up and down. So it's like it's nothing new. Interest rates, things go with interest rates too. As those get higher, people have less cash flow. Johnny Cueto, especially if you have an adjustable rate. Man, we're getting a stack of rainbow foils. Look at all those rainbows. Those are one in four. One in four for a rainbow. Gold Schmidt, favorite sons. It just doesn't feel like a special insert. I don't really, I don't, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like, doesn't, doesn't feel that special. And it's kind of, kind of a rare insert. It needs a little more flash and flair. Something a little bit more Unique than just like the the state flag where they're from in the background. <sighs> I'm just being super, super picky. Not that we need it to be 
something extraordinarily special. I like the direction they're going with making some inserts more rare. That's definitely good. But in my mind, I still I always go back to the '90s inserts. How how they were all like they all were kind of special and unique in their own way, with different kind of foil accenting and different graphics, cool looking graphics, and you know, that's I think that's the pinnacle of collectible inserts '90s. Look at that color match bow. That's a sick card. Like that. Jazz. Panini Stars and Stripes reminds you of that. Jordan Walker did. Man, he. Oh, I wish I would have snagged Jordan Walker. It was. I probably looked at the waiver six times that day, throughout the day, all throughout. Go check it like just every hour or something just to see what's going on. And. I noticed that people were starting to pick him up, but it hadn't been announced yet that he got the call up again. And I almost grabbed him, but I, I didn't have room. Just didn't have room on my bench. And then like an hour later, right after I looked, he got called up and someone scooped him up immediately. Dragon says, I opened one Hobby Box Series 2, got seven parallels, four gold, two green and a blue. No way. That is a spectacular box. And that kind of tells me that some of the, you know, you know how sometimes you get blaster boxes that are absolutely loaded. Same with these kind of things, fat packs that you get multiple inserts, multiple parallels. It's probably that same way with all the different formats. Sometimes you get a loaded box, sometimes you get a dry box. You got an absolutely loaded box. There's Corbin Carroll Chrome. I better set that one aside. That's a nice piece. Maybe send that one off. I got to get another order in with these cheap prices. There was some stuff that I couldn't send away last time. I do have some 90s basketball Jordans that I need to... It worked out perfectly because I think you can send 90s to today for this $15 special. I'm going to send off some of my better Jordans. Like that Ruby. Got a Jordan Ruby. Got it out of a dollar bin at a flea market back in like 1997 or something. 96 maybe. What are you fishing for tomorrow? Uh, going to Lake Metamora. My buddy lives on the lake. He's got a nice boat. We'll just be fishing for bass. Mostly. I'll probably do a little, I don't know, maybe a little like jigging or something. See if I can catch some crappie or perch or something. I don't know. Casas HFA. All right. Now we're, we're getting the tough to pull inserts. HFA and heavy lumber. Yeah, I just went and got a new pole. New tackle box. My stuff is so out of date. I don't fish that much anymore. And usually when I do go, you know, a couple times a year, a few times a year, my friends spend so much money on that stuff that they're like, oh, I got like six extra poles. You can just use one of mine. Fishing for Miller Lights. Yeah, we're fishing for trout tonight. Wong says it's Friday. That it is. Lloyd fan coming in with a five spot says, hey, man, got to go to an actual MLB game last week. Saw my Brewers win in 11 over the Reds, then spent some time in Ohio last weekend. That sounds fun, man. Thanks for the dono. Should I send in my Chrome Rookie, Miggy? I think it's about an 8 or a 9, definitely not a 10, but I don't know if it's worth it. I'd have to see it, man, and even then. Got to kind of see those things up close and personal. 
depends on what it's worth. You got to figure out what's it worth raw. What's it worth in an eight and a nine and a 10. What are the grading fees? Estimate to the best of your ability what grade it's going to get, and then just figure out your risk tolerance. Altuve, another gold. Will Myers. I'm already, I'm like, I'm to the point where like this is, a, this is already a W. This fat pack case is already a W with the heavy lumber, basically the Corbin Carroll gold. That's, that's the dub. But an HFA, heavy lumber, we're going to get it like at least an auto. We never set it. Should I set it right now? 2.5 autographs in this entire case. I think that's a fair over under. What do you guys think? Put it in the chat, over or under. And while you're at it, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do. Your name will pop up if you do. No way. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Another heavy lumber? What? <laughs> One in eight cases? Hold on. Go back down. Where you at, Lumber? There he is. No, no, no. Yeah, one in eight cases. One in eight cases, we got two. Freddie Freeman, if you guys have never gotten one of these cards, it's it's wood grain. It, it feels like it looks. Oh my goodness. Um, I think we may have found a secret. We may have discovered a secret. Over, under, under, under. You say two. Even, it's two and a half. You can't go even. Another gold. Oh my. Home run challenge. We're stacking those up. Zach Wheeler gold. So one, two, three, four, five golds already. This is going well. Now I'm, now I'm in like, just hit the spinning wheel on the slot machine mode. You know, when you're like, oh sweet, I got some free pulls. That's how I'm feeling right now. The rest of the case is like a freebie at this point. And another one of these, Reed Detmers, three of the perps. Is it too early to call? Fat Pack's the way to go. I don't know. Maybe, hopefully we got that. Hopefully we got that Corbin Carroll collation where we just start hitting all the parallels, the blue and the purple. We haven't gotten one blue yet. So, you know, I just grabbed these, but... We got a lot of packs to go. It's going to average out and even out, I think. Yeah, Heavy Lumber looks awesome, like, compared to all the other normal stuff. Like, it feels like it's on a piece of wood. And it may be. It may be just a wood card. It feels like it. Or maybe it's somehow just got some wood grain, double thick cardboard. I don't know. Freeman Heavy Lumber, raw, 35 to 45. Nice. You gem that up, which who knows what, it's, what it would take to gem up, but you know, I don't even consider like raw card prices. Rock, the raw card game is just... The graded card game is where... It's, that's what it takes to, to nickel and dime your way back. I had a request for somebody to, from from somebody, to explain how do you what, what do you mean by nickel and diming and how do you do that and what does it entail? So let's talk about what it would take for this case to pay to pay its way back. What did I pay for this? I'll tell you. Seven hundred fifty-five bucks for this case. So in order to get your money back, you're gonna have to send the best of the best away. I don't know what that's gonna end up being worth, but if that gets a PSA ten. You're well on your way back. One card. Now, if you are like, ah, I don't grade cards. I'm just going to sell that raw. You're going to get a fraction of the value. 
and it's going to be way harder to nickel and dime your way back. All it takes is one good card out of a case to just eat a big chunk of that cost away. Badoo, Rainbow Foil. Favorite Suns, Adley. That card's probably going to be worth something. Adley Rookie, tough insert. Just going to go ahead and sleeve that up real quick so I don't damage it with my hasty fingers. But So the first thing you got to do is figure out what cards uh, potentially can be graded. And they're not all going to get 10s, all the ones that you want to get graded. But you got basically you're going to have to do, hopefully you get a good auto out of your case maybe, and that'll get you back. But the problem is the cards that are worth the most are the ones you're going to want to save and hold on to for your personal collection. That's something that everybody struggles with. We got a thicky, our first hit, first relic hit. Greenskeeper back in action says, saw today that a Tatis first Bowman gold out of 50 auto sold in January 2022 for 42000 just sold on May 23rd for 9000 Sheesh, that's tough. Yeah, that's the nature of this game. That's the nature of it. Cards go way up and way down. It happens in football a lot worse than it does in baseball. Like, we don't deal with the kind of, like, career-threatening injuries that football players deal with a lot. I mean, you can. Like, Tommy John sets the pitchers back, so the pitcher value is always really low uh, until they, like, get Hall of Fame material. But basically, the value comes in Hall of Famers. And if, if guys start... Even just be performing average, if they go from superstar Hall of Fame uh, projection to just like good player, their value is going to drop significantly. And with Tatis, you know what happened. Whoa! <laughs> it's a Corbin Carroll box. Yeah. Corbin Carroll case. It just says box on the, on the website. That's going to trip me up. I guess it is a box. It's a big brown box. Let's put these guys next to each other. All the nice hits. We'll start doing them right there. Sweet. Brandon Belt Rainbow Foil. It's those kind of packs. Legends of the Game Jeter. I don't know, you know, people, time will tell, I guess, with these cards, these legends of the game. Are people going to try to put the sets together? Are they going to are they going to collect these as singles? Um, is it worth getting these graded? You know, can you spend 15 bucks, send that away, turn it into a $50 card, maybe more? I don't know. That's the kind of thing you want to do. Nickel and diamond. Even a card like that, potentially, that's like the low end of what you might want to send, <laughs> send away. The chrome one will have more value, like this. See the difference? Top's chrome logo in the top left. I'm going to have to go back through all of them. Oh, I don't want to, but I'm going to have to. How much would you pay for a jock strap relic? Nothing. I wouldn't want one. That's disgusting. Shohei, that's a blue trout. Blue significant statistics trout. Back to the talk about nickel and diamond. You could send that off to get graded potentially. I mean, you know, maybe a little little something in the lower left. But I'm saying after you go through it, you would have to determine centering. These would be rough, but that's a really rare card. And the blue parallel, it will have some value. Let's find significant statistics blue. One out of 554 of these. One out of six cases for this card, and we got a trout. So it's another kind of card you can look out for. A lot of people, I get emails almost every day from people asking, what cards do I send away to get graded? It's not an easy thing to answer, but we can talk about it. That's why you should hang out in the live stream so I can get into more detail because I can't just email you like real simply, and I don't want to. That's so many emails. I can't answer them all. I can't. Everybody wants to know what their cards cost. Like, what's this card worth? I, come on, guys. I'm not a Beckett. But during the live streams, I can just go on and on and try to give you everything, everything I got. 
Here we go. Goldschmidt, Chrome Goldschmidt, George Brett, bust pack. What are the SPs? Triple B, there are no regular SPs and SSPs. The, S, the SSP is the golden mirror, and the golden mirrors don't have the golden stamp on them, so somebody oopsied in the factory, I think. But you don't even have to look because they all have a giant SSP right up here, so you can't miss it. And they're flipped around backwards, too. Go patch rainbow foil. I figured it out. Those backwards ones where you're like, huh? Rainbow foils. Pulled a HFA Corbin Carroll worth sending away. It's a gamble, but probably most of those HFAs are, t are hard to gem up. This is the kind of thing that I can talk about, but I can't email, like, get into the weeds like this. But the, HF the HFAs are pretty hard to gem up for a couple of reasons. Centering. Is that centered? Who knows, right? If you have an example to work with, if you actually have an example of a PSA 10, then you can go, okay, let's look at this Tops logo and see where it is. That looks, if you look at the Tops logo, how far it is from the top and the side, if it looks equidistant, then you got a, a pretty good chance of it being centered, I guess. You can also look at the bottom. You look at these points to compare with the PSA 10. Where's the helmet at? Where's the bottom of this at? Where's the Tops logo at and the RC logo? That can help you. Now the back, these tend to be pretty rough on the back. Like you can see this one, she's got a little bit of damage down there in the bottom right. Um, it's not as big of a deal on the back, but you can also use that as centering, but back centering sometimes isn't like exactly the same as the front centering, which is weird. Like you would think it, it would be, but it seems like it's not sometimes. So it's kind of a gamble on the HFAs, but a big player like that, Corbin Carroll, it's got a lot of value, so it's worth it even sending away to get a, to get a nine. Brennan Davis, rookie, blue. Oh, there's another blue. Look at that. Ah, this is a card I could send away, potentially. Like, maybe more so for just my own collection, but it still has some collectability. Even though it's just kind of like, it's not a rookie. You know, you got to, most of the things you want to send off are probably rookies firsts, parallels, autographs, things of that nature. Base cards of even the best rookie. Even if you send some Corbin Carroll base cards away, maybe not as value. I, you, it's, you never know, but a card like that could have some value because everybody likes Trout. Highly collectible. Hall of Famer. That's the key. The Hall of Fame is the key. If they're on their way to the Hall of Fame, they're going to have value forever. Maybe not like extreme value, but they're in the hall, so all of the people who watch them play, they're going to have a little bit of nostalgia. All the people whose teams, you know, like, so Manny Machado, for example, he's going to have, like, Orioles fans and Padres fans that remember him and rooted for him. He's probably going to make the hall as one of the better third basemen of our era. So a guy like that's going to have longevity in the career um, as far as collectability. Thick boy. Come on. Whoa, what is this? What is this? Oh, ho, ho, ho. look at that bad boy. Yachty, that's a patch. And that is numbered to 25. 11 to 25. That's a huge hit out of here. This is one of the best relics you can get. Maybe not the best player, but still a Hall of Fame type player. Game used. Key. Red. Number to five. This is a very nice hit out of here. What is that going to take? I don't, is that going to fit in a 180? Yeah. That's a 180 right there. Yeah, hit that like button. I'm, I'm impressed with fatties. Fatties are crushing right now. Oh. Same pack, autograph and relic. You've got to be kidding me. When it rains, it pours. Same pack. 
This is insane. Bailey Falter. Not the best one, but we'll take it. Take it any day. Wow. Wow. Okay, so like the elite part of the stage is we're just going to, it's going to get sucked right on up, I guess. I can't believe how good this is going. What do you guys think? Like out of 10 so far, Step in the Box says this is better than most cases I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening, Relic Digging? Noah, I don't know. Speaking of Relic Digging, I sent my dad a, a YouTube video of a guy who goes around to old like dump sites, like, you know, early 1900s, late 1800s. Um, outhouses, you know how they used to dump like bottles and things back in there? And my dad collects patent medicine bottles. He knows a lot about that kind of stuff. Like he's one of the, he knows everything about that stuff almost. I sent him a video of a guy that goes around digging those up and he's like, I, I, I can't stop watching this. I, I, I've already binge watched a bunch of it. I'm going to join his Patreon. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Because my dad's not like, he doesn't watch YouTube and stuff really. So to see him like get addicted to somebody's show just like that is pretty fun. Wow, easy. Is everybody okay? Should have changed out my garbage before we started. Here's a blue. And like I'm doing my own rip now, and my camera is working just fine. Doesn't disconnect. Blue Suarez, rainbow foil straw, significant statistics Acuna. It's one of those loaded ones. We're making some headway though. We're making some good headway on this. One hour deep, probably halfway done. Wong. Have a, an acquired taste for women. Wong says, I like my women like I like my packs. Fat and loaded. Riley Green, home run challenge. Look at this stack of home run challenge cards. Hold on. These are, th these are all the ones I've collected from this year so far. Just from personal rip. I'm going to win some. Or my name isn't Striker B Rakes. How many packs per case? 108. Can you buy fat packs retail? You certainly can. Bowman Brent, what's up? Riley Auto, next pack. All right. Ooh, we'll take this. Garrett Mitchell, rookie rainbow foil. Yep. Stop loading them. The rainbow foils gemmed up have a, su a surprising amount of value. Don't think just because it's an unnumbered parallel that, you know, it's not very good or something. They still have a, a good amount of value because they're, they're hard hard to gem you know it's a foil it's a fragile foil around a border and sometimes sometimes those borders can kind of peel up on you a little bit you're watching your adley home run challenge best hit so far uh, i'm putting the better hits in the front row we got we got some monsters already. Two heavy lumbers. Those are one out of eight cases. One out of eight cases, we already got two. We got a Corbin Carroll gold. We got a Yachty um, game used patch to 25. And Corbin Carroll rookie relic. Blue parallel Nando. Autograph. One auto so far. <laughs> and an HFA. This is, this is incredible. Rosario, golds are coming out of here. We probably got already twice as many golds as you would have got out of a whole case of Series 1. And we're halfway done. The 
Yeah, I'm curious too, bullpen reps. Where's the cowboy hat? Right back there. It's baseball season though, so. It's baseball hat season. Nothing packs. Yeah, just go right through the nothing packs, so that way you don't even you don't even realize how you know two out of every three packs are like nothing packs. Chrome, Trey Turner, Ricky. Just like that, two nothing packs, and we get right to a good one. Right here. See? Yeah, average. Jose Abreu. I suppose some of these could be parallels. I'm not even looking at them. Price on the case was seven fifty five. That's a good one. Got another. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Green. Oh, Fraley. Okay. I was thinking steer. There's so many reds. So many. I do like Fraley, though. He looks like a. Uh... Ooh, that's nice. It's randomly. He looks like a Viking. Jake Fraley. I like his look. No, corners, not, everything's all good, Zeke. These came fresh out of a case, so, like, nobody's handled them. Oh. What? I apologize to everybody who is not going to get a heavy lumber card because I'm getting them all. I'm sorry. But you snooze, you lose. Whoa! Am I going to get the complete heavy lumber set? No way. Nah. Nah. Am I reading this correctly? One out of eight cases, and we got three already. Go ahead and hit that like button for me, please. We got to get to 300, like, immediately. I'm, in fact, I'm not going to rip another pack until we get to 250. Because there's over 500 people here live, and that is worth it. In the meantime, I wonder if I'm going to get the, the complete legends of the game. There's three. There's more, though. Be a nice set to put together. Hopefully he comes back. He's on my IL right now. Comes back soon. Chris Bryant wasn't doing anything for me, though. Here's another one. Jeter. Favorite sons and legends of the game. Should have been keeping them separate this whole time. That was fast. Thank you. In store yet? I think they're supposed to be in store today. Friday? Is this better than seven hobby boxes? Night. Well, not yet. We'll see when it's all said and done. How many autos and relics we get and like kind of compare. Because out of seven hobby boxes, you're also getting seven silver packs. Out of seven silver packs, you're going to get probably at least a couple of parallels too. And those parallels are really valuable and collectible. And also the autographs that you can get on the, the silver packs. 
Also, the fact that you can get blacks out of the sil- out of hobby boxes and clears. The blacks and the clears that come out of hobby boxes are ult- like real high ceiling cards that you can only get out of hobby. So it, it, it's tough to compare everything. But when we're all said and done, we'll we'll check it out. Out of Eno. <laughs> you guys are gonna run out and buy some, aren't you? We haven't gotten a blue foil though. The collation is strange in this case. 20 cards in the lumber set. We got some work to do. I might have to put it together. But those are expensive cards, so. We'll see. Let's see how Oops. Judge. I do want to start looking at those. Your O for the year on silver pack color. I think we hit three or four per case. I don't remember exactly though. Brandon Nimmo. Rainbow foil back here. It's Joey Bart. Did Joey Bart lose his job to Patrick Bailey? Or did he get hurt or what? Patrick Bailey seems better. Tops needs to sponsor you, says Panther Sports Cards. You hear that, Tops? I think that'd be a great idea. Yeah, that'd be a great idea. <clears throat> You hear that, Tops? Lou Bob in the home run challenge pile. Donovan, gold, another gold. It is a cup card. She's a little thick. I haven't noticed any problems yet, so the first thick one on the left, not a big deal. It's going to happen from time to time, as long as it's just not like every pack. Nice gunner. Like Chrome wasn't, even even 22 Chrome wasn't as bad as people thought. And it's kind of nice that everybody freaked out about it because the price just dropped so low that anybody can grab a box now. It's like 60, 80, I don't know how much it is, 70, 70 bucks. Braves Mets game. Uh, no, wait, what am I? No, it's Mets Pirates. I am actually watching that. And then, well, I'm not watching. I'm turning it as soon as the Padres. <gasps> Padres are up six to nothing already. Okay, it is Colorado. Home run, Machado. Home run, Grisham. Home run, Gary. I did pick up Gary and I'm starting him tonight. Nando's got a run and a walk. Soto's got a run and a hit. Machado's got a run, a hit, and two RBIs. Gary's got a... Oh, my gosh, dude. They're destroying the Rockies right now. I knew they would, too. I made a mistake. I I put a couple lineups in. I was going to do seven lineups tonight. Not seven. Ten ten lineups tonight. And I just set a dummy lineup. I was going to go back in and change everything, and then I got busy and forgot. And every one of my lineups is stacked with the Padres. Yeah, I'm a Padres fan. Nando just fell on the ground or else I would have showed you him too. Michael Waka blue. Strikeout leaders. That's the next step. Tops, if you want in on this. By that, I mean this. Big time. Here we go. Next card. Longoria. Rainbow foil. Favorite sons. Freddie Freeman. New follower. John McClain's tank top. I like it. I like the name. I 
should probably check and see if anybody's over on. We got no chats coming in from Twitch. If you're watching on Twitch right now, which I have no idea, unless you chat, say something. And I'll say something back. Another purple. And it's Chuck LeBlanc. We got double Chuck LeBlancs. Check this out. I've been I've been telling you. The the collation on cases. Which is usually why I don't do cases. I like to buy boxes off from all different places, but sometimes it's just not in the cards to do it that way. It takes way longer and it's way more unreliable. But so you don't end up with situations like this. Unless you end up situ like with doubles of this or doubles of some of the good rookies, then it's gonna maybe be a bummer. Cause if you start getting doubles of Bautista or some other guy that you don't want. I'm not bagging on Bautista. I'm actually an Orioles fan. I like Bautista, <clears throat> but I don't collect his cards. Another Corbin Carroll gold says step in the box. <laughs> yeah. I feel it. How about a 101? Blow it like that. Remember you said you're going to look. Oh, Nolan Jones. I picked up Nolan Jones. He's up to bat. He's been crushing already. Nolan Jones has a uh, one dot OPS, batting 366, playing for the Rockies. I'm always in on Rockies. What is this? Oh, you guys. You guys. Oh, no. No. Oh, it's Judge. Four heavy lumbers. Whoops. Somebody's in trouble. Who's in charge of the heavy lumber collation? <laughs> Somebody's in trouble. No way. Kyle coming in, dropping five gifted. What a legend. If you just got a green highlight, it's because Kyle is a generous, generous man. Kyle, you going fishing tomorrow? Neil said you're going with us, maybe. Hit that like. 288 likes. Let's get to 350. I think I think that's fair. 350 likes, just like quick. We got two, four, we have four more stacks. We got like 36 more packs after this. So we're we're getting close to the finish line. Four heavy lumbers, and that one was in a weird spot. Did you see it was like in the back half of the pack? <laughs> never. You never pull heavy lumbers. They're so hard to pull. This reminds me. Oh my god. I told this story before. <clears throat> but I'll tell it again for those of you who haven't heard it. When I was a, a youngster collecting basketball cards, when uh, when the SPs came out, they had those packs at Walmart. They had SP basketball. And my cousin and I went in there and we bought, you know, a couple of packs or something. And we got back out to the car and we opened them up. And inside, like, almost every pack was a super tough to pull insert it was like super rare you weren't supposed to get them and it, like almost every pack had them and we're like <gasps> so we went in of course we bought like as much as we could afford which is not much because we we're kids but we bought a bunch of them <clears throat> and i immediately like we we went to the, the card shop and we're just like hey want to buy these you know and he gave us like he's like whoa how'd you get all those you know and, mm -hmm. bought them all from us or traded whatever he did it's been too long i don't remember it was a, a sell or a trade situation, or maybe both, probably both. A little cash, a little trade. This reminds me of that, when there was just like an oops in the collation and just got loaded, like those packs got loaded. 
<clears throat> Do you use 55 point? These ones don't even require 55 point. Could, but yeah, I probably crammed them in there. They're not too, they're not too bad. Let me see what they'd be like in a 55. They'll fit in a 35. Yeah, 50, whatever you want to do. You fit in both. A little tight in a smaller one. How much is a lumber worth? I don't know, Will. I've never, for my personal, I've never pulled one. And I've opened lots of cards. Woo! Striker the Influence Insert Case says 505 memorabilia. Yeah, I ordered these from Steel City under my real name. My God-given name. There is no influencer case that I get. It's not even a thing. It's not even real. It's just what jealous people say. To try to take away your pull. You know, you, you get a good pull and you're all excited about it. And then some person comes along and tries to take away your good feeling. Telling, telling you and everyone who will listen that... You don't even, essentially what you're saying is you didn't even deserve that. You got a special case. They gave it just to you fully loaded, right? That's what, really, think about it, because that's what you're saying. I know you feel really great and good about yourself and you're having a great time, but you don't deserve that. That's like the passive aggressive thing that you're saying when you say that. So next time, think about it. Think about what you're saying before you say it. I know you had to, because you typed it. You had to be thinking while you're typing. So are you just trying to take away my joy? That's not very cool. Here we go, Taylor Walls rainbow foil. Boom. Satchel page. We haven't got many of those aces cards. What, like, maybe only like three of them. But those are all aces are one in 17 fat packs. So those are even a tough pull. One in 17 for the all aces. One in 17 for the significant statistics. Those should be coming about the same. And legends of the game are one in 17. So all these inserts, one in 17, one in 17. I wonder if they accidentally put the heavy lumber in it like a 1 in 17 too with all the other inserts. That would be wild. Leon with a 24 month membership says, "Welcome to Strikers Lumber Yard this Friday night." That's right. Heavy lumber in the house. Hey, here's a good one. Gold Manessis. I like that. The sweet gold cup on there. Top loading that. Two good golds. Good gold. Quite a few left still. All good 505. I just get sick of people saying that, and I rant every time someone does, so that in the future, that maybe they think a little bit harder about what they're saying and what it means. And like, you know, the, the message that they're spreading that is a falsity, it's false. Bust pack. Next. You know, I'm okay with not having pack odds on there. Seems like a waste of ink anyway. I mean, it's, it's nice to have it handy where you can just flip it over and be like, oh, but I don't know. Everybody's got their cell phone near them anyway. Babe, bust. Only one auto so far. That two point five over under. I think it's a. I think that's pretty accurate. We'll see what happens. We should get. I think we should get at least one more. But that's why it was tough. Over under to establish. I don't really know. What do we have here? David Fletcher, Rainbow Foil. Lots of those. Another favorite sons. 
Dude, I feel another heavy lumber. I think we're going to get another one. I don't know. Let me do the quick math on a calculator. We might get six. If they put these in, which is my out, outrageous conspiracy theory. If they put those in at the one in 17 rate accidentally, because you know what? Like, I don't even know how it works, but in my mind, I, I imagine that they feed all the cards into like some kind of a, some kind of a machine that like puts them in at, at a certain rate, right? So they stack up all the heavy lumbers and let's say they, they made a mistake and said one in 17 instead of one in eight or whatever. So that means they'd get rid of them all way too fast. So there's going to be a whole bunch of packs that don't have heavy lumber that are supposed to, if that's the case. No. No. <laughs> I think that's what happened. I can't believe it. Every time we get a heavy lumber, an angel gets its wings. <laughs> oh, we've made some angels today. So many angels. Oh my, no way, no way. Well, we're going to get one more then maybe. Oh, I think they're, I think they're falling at one in 17. What? Tyone blue. This is so awesome. Another purple. We haven't gotten one blue. What if if that can happen with the heavy lumber? It can happen with anything. What if the whole fat pack collate what cuz guys, think think about what happened with the hobby boxes. How our hits weren't getting in there. Maybe that's because there's some... And remember what Dragon said earlier? How many golds and stuff he got? There's going to be ultra... Potentially... Ultra loaded boxes and packs. And then a bunch of dry ones. Whoa. The implications... Maybe, or maybe not. I have no idea, but I'm just logically deducing. Powerball ticket, yeah. Okay, we got a relic. I thought it was another one. The way this is going, I mean, we got 18, I don't know, like, like 25 more packs. We might get one more. Hunter Brown. Do you think someone should lose their job because of that? Real, real question. If I was in charge, <clears throat> I would track down whoever's and they wouldn't be working there no more. But I'm a bit like Gordon Ramsay. I don't put up with it, which is why I work by myself, because who better to get the job done? One on one relic? I wish. Nope. I think our destiny for this case is no blues, which are, we're supposed to get a ton of blues. We haven't gotten any. All the heavy lumbers. Nothing else is out of the ordinary, really. Really, it's the Chuck LeBlanc collation is a little strange, but oh, oh, Corbin, you're so close to me. Feeling the rock vibe tonight, I guess. 
Yeah, but radical dad, what if this is this what if this is just like an outlier case? Obviously it's some kind of weird outlier. Like you're not gonna get that many. They don't even make that many. Like cases like this, that's why you do it. Outlier cases. Taylor Walls. We're not getting a lot of these foils. Okay, so that's another thing. We've only gotten... Is that it? Three foils? Total? No Mother's Day. No Father's Day. No Independence Day. No Vintage Stock. Nothing. None of that. Yet. Of course, those are real, real tough pulls. But just trying to figure out what happened with this case. You hit the Hank Aaron lumber yesterday. Nice. Infinite. Or in line. In line. Uh, what's going on, Tiger? Uh, Padres. Juan Soto just getting a hit. That's what's going on. Then RBI. Nando over to third. Ford Proctor. Rookie blue. Woo! You can call me Big Wood if you want, Jeff. You wouldn't be the first. Chipper. This is it. What we got? One, two, three, four, five more over here. And these two stacks. 938. I figured we'd finish about 10, and then it's looking like a two hour rip. Two hours per case. It was two hours for a hobby case rip. Two hours for a fat pack case rip seems about right. And I do have hanger boxes coming in too. So I'm going to do a case of hanger boxes too, I think. But it, there's no way it's going to compare to this. There's no way with all that heavy lumber, all the stuff. This has just been so good. This will change the way people look at it. And I hope that I can say this a, a bunch of times so that you know. Do not expect that. That's something weird happened. Maybe, you know, it's also possible that they caught it. Like it was kicking out too many heavy lumbers and they're like, ah, and then they caught it. And there's like, it's too late for those packs, but. No, I don't know. Bruhan rainbow foil. Come to Striker Breaks eBay store where you'll find all the heavy lumber that you desire. The link is pinned to the top. Shoot me an offer. I got best offer on everything. I'm, I'm going to be listing all my PSA cards. I got a couple dozen of them listed so far. This takes forever. Working on taking pictures and all that. Chris Bassett blue. That's a nice color match as well. The bow in blue, the basset in blue. <laughs> and then we get another purple. No way. The blues are nowhere. I want to see a blue. Dude, somebody's going to get some loaded blue cases. I th They're not coming in this. They're not coming in this case. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is the sixth one. These are numbered to $7.99. Blues are to $9.99. Haven't seen hide nor hair of a blue. Three more. I think one more. I think one more is coming. Possibly two, but probably one based on the odds. It was like six point one and six point three or six point three per case. If they fall at the odds, I think they're falling. Chrome Rizzo, Miranda, Rainbow Foil. Turn some weird music. <clears throat> Nothing. No, well, maybe we got Rainbow Foil. Chrome, so it's like chrome and then rainbow foil seems like collation. 
It's a good one too. Oscar Colas rookie. I like that. I wonder if he's going to be coming back up soon or if they're waiting for the inevitable injury, which isn't... Didn't one of them get injured again? One of the White Sox. Um, did we put that on the stage? Nah. We put them right there, though. Got some weird, like, rock fusion going on. I wish you could request songs on YouTube. Yeah, that was a weird one. We can we can change it, but the the rock mix has been good to us. A couple of bust packs, but I'll get it out of this weirdness. Where are we at? I don't even know where we're at. There we are. Try this one. Better than the last one. <laughs> Winding down. Getting down to the end. Share this with your friends. Like the video. Three. We're almost to 350. 581 watching. Can we get to four? I think we can get to four by the end of this. 400 likes. Michael Harris, rookie. Chrome. She's been she's been a little dry lately. Waiting on that final heavy lumber. One of these is uh parallel. Blue parallel, I would I would guess. Spencer Steer. Cool. Top loading that. Got some good blues. Regular blues. Do you suggest the 55 point for thicker cards? Um, it depends, but usually a refractor doesn't need one, but a numbered Bowman. The numbered Bowman stuff, the numbered autograph, sometimes the base autos, 55 points probably better. Just It just depends on what top loaders you're using too because some top loaders fit the thicker cards a little bit better, the standard 35 points. Andrew Velasquez, blue. Home run, Hank. Cards, Cars, and Guitars with his five-month membership. It says, five-month member and long-time viewer celebration. OG, I remember you. Peds, what's up, brother? What are the odds on Heavy Lumber? One out of 803 fat packs. Find it again. Wait a second. I keep losing it because it's a, it's a small little... Here it is. One out of 833 fat packs... One in eight cases for a heavy lumber. If we just keep saying heavy lumber, we'll get one more. Did I say Hank on a willy? I don't know what I said. I say a lot of things. Like if I'm trying to read something and but I'm all, my mind's on a different conversation and I'm trying to look through cards and look at the chat. God only knows what could come out of my mouth. Whit Merrifield, Rainbow Foil, Alex Bregman, favorite son. Someone was trying to say that's a S SSP the other day. got your first sub back from PSA gem 10 Brock Purdy auto nice 
I know that's what I was thinking, Brett. Put the complete set together. Might as well. I don't know if I'd appreciate it enough. I think I think somebody else would appreciate it more. I mean, it'd be a good memory of this insane case. But I'm well on my way to the set. Can SSPs come out of retail? Yeah. Yep. Uh, we sh Let me see if I can find it. Uh, SSPs. Guess I could go to my handy dandy value sheet. SSPs are one in 339 packs. So one in three cases, you should get an SSP. Ugh. Odds aren't good. Vibes are, have changed a little bit. Lou Gehrig, Mark Simeon, Rainbow Foil. I feel like they would be, that like one of those would be flipped around or else you'd, you'd get a bonus one. If there's a parallel of the stars of MLB, like you'd get three instead of two. And then you'd be like, I better look at, most people look at them. <sighs> yeah, the lumber's coming out of retail. Mm -hmm. Any autos? We got one auto. Couple of relics, one auto. Some good color. Jorge Polanco blue. Another purple. Freddy Tarnak. Another purple. Retail feels loaded. Subtract out the heavy lumber, even. And it still feels pretty loaded. Because we gotta, we gotta do this overall assessment without even considering those. I think if it, if it was, if it was, if we didn't get, if we didn't get those at all, it would still be, still be a success because of the Corbin Carroll gold. He's, he's like, look at, he's way back here. What are you doing? Way back there. We got to put Molina up there too. This is a crazy Molina relic. I'm PCing that, I think. I think I got to PC that. That's such a sweet color match pinstripe patch numbered to 25. And I collect Hall of Fame relics. He's going to be there. Kyle Tucker. Rainbow foil. We're almost done. Cards, cards, and guitars with a $9.99 donation. Says, want to see Striker and step in the box, do a hobby box, low numbered card war, winner take all. We did one. I went on I went on the stream. I don't even know when that was. Several months ago. With Brett and John doing a batters up. That was fun. We got to do that again sometime. Of course, it was on the one day my internet was not working. And it was a little glitchy. Chrome Gunner. Will the Molina be in your eBay store? I think I'm going to PC that one, Jason. But sometimes it takes me a little while to decide on what I want to do. The PC starts to overflow, you know, to the point where it's like you just, it's just too much. So I, I can't guarantee anything, but that feels like a card I might PC. Oh, this one. We finally got a blue. And it's a checklist. Those are to $9.99. Those look cool. I like them. They look good. The purple and the blue retail foils look really good. We're down to the very end, and we finally got our first blue. Wild. Like I said, somebody's going to be getting some blues. Thanks for the donation cards, cars and guitars. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, those look sick, don't they, Peds? I like them. They did good. Oh, that would look great with Volpe. Let's, let's make it happen. 
Nope. Bust. I think this is maybe the funnest fat pack case I've ever opened. That's a win right there. Assuming he comes off the IL and Oh, Jordan's got no bleak. Another blue significant statistics. Isn't that fun? We got two of those. And those are those are tough pulls. Very tough. Let's put them At least I thought I had another blue significant stats. Oh yeah, that's the trout, that's right. Yeah, so these. Two of those. One out of 554. These are one in six cases. Two of them. Weird. Weird tops collation. Lately, Pete's out. Yep, some injuries happen. I, I thought injuries might be a little bit more of a thing this year with the speeding up of the game, not having as much time to kind of stretch and loosen up yourself in between pitches. Maybe I don't know. Seems like there's some guys going down though. Siani, rookie, rainbow foil. And Chipper, Legends of the Game. It's funny how I notice Manoa now every single time I pull this card. My mind just goes, Ugh. hundred and eight, Ryan. Six hundred and forty seven people in here. Shout out to you. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Ring the notification bell so you know when I go live doing stuff like this. And hit that like button. Before we get out of here, let's get to 400 easily. We got only one pack left if you haven't hit the like button yet. Another blue! Sutsugo. So we did get a couple of blues. Got to open up a fresh card shells. Soft sleeve pack. Because I am out. Use code STRIKER10. Cardshells.com for... $10 off an order of 50 or more. It's a good deal for a premium product. Put him with his pal, the other blue. Last pack. Case was a um, 7 55. Got it from Steel City. Pre-ordered it. Hanger boxes are coming soon. Should be here. Maybe I'll do it Monday afternoon. Or Sunday. If it, no, I think it says it's supposed to come Monday. Oh, oh I thought that was Volpe. But still, Oswaldo Cabrera. Rookie blue. That's it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, let's look at some of the hits, shall we? Pull out all the purples. That's what you're interested in. How many purples did you get? How many blues did you get? These retail exclusives. So the perps, Reed Detmers. There's one. Two Charles LeBlancs. Purple, two purple Charles LeBlanc. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven purples. How many can you expect in a case? Typically, seven. You're supposed to get seven. We got seven. You're supposed to get eight blues. We got two. Golds. You're supposed to get nine golds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That needs a little bit of stage time. We got the big boy. 
and nine. I think that's, yeah, we got exactly how many golds you're supposed to get. How about some other foils? Only got one of these red. So you're supposed to get one of these in every other case. You're supposed to get two oranges. We got none. You're supposed to get three greens. We got two. Rainbow foils. You're supposed to get 28 of them. Twenty six, twenty seven. Odds are I missed one at some point, but I count twenty seven. It's probably right on the money for those as well. Relics. We got. We got three, but that's a big one, and that's a really nice one too. And that's a rookie relic. So ended up with three. Look at that boy again. Yachty. 11 of 25. That is a sick hit. Chunky patch. Kind of chunky. I mean, it, it feels, it's like there's a depth to it. I love it. Bunch of blues. How many blues do you think you're supposed to get? It says 22. 11, 12. 19, 20, 21. I may have missed one, but 21, 22, close enough. It's about right. Got a few of these. A few of these insert blues that are tough to pull, and they were good. Spencer Steer rookie, I'll take that. Nando All-Star, take that. Dylan Cease blue, significant stats. It's okay. That one's really nice. The Trout. That's got a little value. We did get one HFA, Tristan Casas, and there's no odds. So we don't know how many you're supposed to get. They just, we don't know, but they're pretty rare. Uh, case hit, you can just call the case hit because that seems like they're falling about one per case in all the different formats. Bailey Falter, here's our one auto. So the under hit, congratulations for those who guessed under. Put the over under at two and a half. And then I c look at this. One in eight cases, you're supposed to pull a heavy lumber. I don't know if I can stress that enough. These are very hard to pull. We shouldn't have even really gotten one. If we got one, it was like the first one was like, yeah, no way. Nolan. Judge. Shohei. Oh, dude, that Shohei heavy lumber. Oh, my. <laughs> oh. Freeman, one of the hottest players in the game, just does not know how to not crush. Double negative. And Nando. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Look at that face he's making, too. He just hit a bomb and he flipped his bat. Man, oh, man. And that's about it. Floyd fan with a $5 donation. Thoughts on Astoria Ruiz of Oakland. Bought a lot with his paper first. I was curious if you have any thoughts on him. He's looking like the second coming of Ricky as far as the stolen bases and the speed goes. And I, I'm not going to say that so loosely because nobody's Ricky. But it's just kind of cool how he plays for the A's and he's getting a lot of stolen bases. He's leading off. He's, he's in a good spot to succeed. Uh, I like him. I have a couple of his cards, his Bowman cards, parallels from back in the day. So I, I like him. I don't know if I, I really don't know what to expect long term from him, but he's got a lot of speed and they seem to like him. Cards, cars, and guitars with four ninety nine says posted some unused home run challenge codes on your last Facebook post. First come get them. Yeah, check out Facebook Striker Breaks, my uh, website strikerbreaks dot com. I'm on Twitch, Twitter. Rumble, and uh, everything else that I can. I think that's it. So check out all those different places where you can see me. And I'm going to drop one last link. If you want to get in on the breaks, this was a personal rip. Consider becoming a slammer. There's the link. Slammers get notified when I post a break, and they can buy in at strikerbreaks.com. 
Well, this was fun. I appreciate all you guys. Watch the last video, the PSA reveal I did. And I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching. I will catch you all.